Hi everyone, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting envelope that is going to tell me exactly what makeup tutorial I'm doing today. Kind of terrifying to open this. Uh, I, all I know right now is that it is a festival theme, so I don't know which festival I'm going to get, but I'm going to open this up and find out right now. So this is a Style Hall Collective Challenge where me, a couple other friends here on YouTube are taking on the challenge of festivals and I found out I got the Electric Daisy Carnival which I am so pumped about. I've never been, but I know it entails a lot of color. So I'm just gonna improvise and here we go with the tutorial. Over 300,000 people attend this Vegas-based festival and you want your eyes to stand out. So the best way to do that is using a primer, especially a white one by NYX. This is their Jumbo Pencil in Milk, an old time favorite for me. I'm gonna place this on the eyes and it's a creamy shade. So just apply about a medium amount and then we're gonna spread that out with a brush. I chose my most colorful eyeshadow palette, which happens to be the Smashbox Masterclass palette. And I believe it's on sale right now, hint, hint, and I love the formula. I'm taking this peachy tone shade for my crease. Always a great starting point with eye makeup, no matter how dramatic the look. This one is called Custard. Another dupe for this is Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek will work just fine. I'm gonna work this into my crease so that the other colors have something to fade into. EDC makeup is far from neutral, so I decided on this green shade next called Zoom, and I'm going to press this onto my lid so that I get the best color payoff possible. So by pressing all across the lid and then building up to the intensity you want with different layers of it can really get a nice, strong dose of color. More color, more color indeed. Here is this eggplant color. I'm taking on a tapered blending brush. And I think what's key about this next step is focusing it in the crease but making sure you tap off your brush so that you don't have any excess fallout because the eyeshadow look can look muddy if you don't keep the colored eyeshadows in their designated areas. I also use the flat edge of my false eyelashes case to help create a more crisp edge. And I just quickly ran some Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade into my eyebrows to give more definition. Grab your favorite liquid liner to apply on the top lash line and extend the line towards the tip of your eyebrow to create a very flattering wing. Now I'm going to take one of the brightest highlighter colors I have from Makeup Geek and I'm going to place this on the inner corner so you want that inner corner shining as bright as Calvin Harris's platinum album. A festival look would not be complete without a lot of mascara and a pair of lengthy lashes. These are the Christina's and I love this pair. I'll link them in the description box below. We're going full coverage with Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo. I am in the shade Sapia. I want full coverage and I want something lasting and a good way to have your makeup last is using a primer and then also using a full coverage foundation then you're going to want to set it after. So here I'm just applying it and then going to use a beauty blender to take out any of the excess of that full coverage foundation to make sure it's very well blended. This next step could get you on the Jumbotron, at Skrillex, at Diplo, or Zed. After I highlight the crap out of my face, I take a translucent powder and I do the method of baking. I at first did not understand this method, but now I can't not do it when I have an event or an EDC festival. I would definitely do this if I was going. So for my bronzer, I'm using this one by Cover Effects. I really like this one because it looks exactly like a couple shades darker in my skin tone, not too orange. And I'm gonna keep it pretty tame for the face. Unfortunately, I didn't have rhinestones or like flash tattoos laying around to really bump up this EDC look, but I am gonna really bring it for you guys between the eyes and the lips. I promise. I hope. I hope you think so. In that moment, I decided to add another color from this palette, and this is Pacific. It's a really pretty teal color. I took it on a small concentrated brush and just ran it on the outer two-thirds of my lower lash line. I wanted to keep it just on the outer two-thirds so that it didn't close up my eyes, and it just gave a this little would not pop be complete underneath. without a statement lip. This is Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in Prom Night, one of my all-time favorites. Just going to apply this to my lips. No lip liner needed. It's a very strong, bold lip on its own. So I improvised with what I had and I did happen to have fresh flowers from Trader Joe's yesterday and I was sad to cut them up but it was perfect for my DIY floral crown that I just pinned with bobby pins around the frame of my head. Well there you have it guys, that is going to complete my version of an EDC makeup tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you've been to a festival before. I'd love to hear which one. Make sure you guys check out my friends in the description box below to see what festival they took on in this style haul collective challenge make sure you go subscribe to their channels as well this is a really fun challenge for me hope you guys all enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next video 
Take care. Bye. Thank you.